Uh-oh. Oh no, I'm sorry. This hurts, doesn't it? Yeah. Oops. Even as the light was fading from Ebo's eyes, and he rested his weight upon me, dripping in his own blood, he put on a tough facade, although anyone else could tell he didn't have much time left. What are you talking about? There's absolutely no way I'm abandoning you. The fear burning in Ebo's eyes was the same pulsing through me. You've been the one protecting me our entire lives. This time, Eva, it's my turn to save you. I had never spoken so candidly with someone in a moment that truly mattered before, but... <laughs> my words had a visible impact on Eva, who bit his lip in a fit of confusion. Pride covered Eva's entire way of life. Allowing me to rescue him may have seemed like a submission of his power, but it was in a position to argue, and with the enemy hot on our trail, this wasn't up for debate. I must save Iba. He threw his armor on my shoulder, and we ran frantically around boulders and overgrown tree roots before finding a thick tree trunk to hide behind. We held our breath as we waited for Takara or his fears to show themselves, but they never came. Where do we go from here? Going back to Edo isn't an option, and the Ogeki unit is. Uh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to bring it up, especially at a time like this. I'll go fetch some water from the river. We need to clean up these wounds immediately. I stood up and grabbed a handkerchief from my pouch. From a nearby distance, the pines whispered in faint rustles, and I jumped out of fright. <gasps> Who is it? Is it Takara? The Furies? Or the Imperial Army? Iba, get down! I wrapped my hand around the hilt of my kodachi, pushing it a bit closer to the floor before I saw... Is that... Motoyama? Is that you? Friendly face, friendly face. さっき、新政府軍と戦ってるのを見たから、銃で援護したんだけど。まさかあの後、崖から飛び降りるなんて思わなくてさ。Yeah, there was few options for us, Matsuyama. At least you distracted them. Wait, so that gunfire back there was you? ああ、そうさ。残っていた大使たちととっさに撃ったんだ。まさか Okay, so I, I guess that means Motoyama is not trained in guns. Ah, uh, I see. We somehow avoided death by the skin of our teeth, thanks to the miraculous timing of Iba's friend. All right, time to get going, Iba. As I turned to look over my shoulder to glance at Iba, he fell into a forlorn trance, 
staring at nothing with the weight of the world on his shoulders. Iba, do your wounds hurt? I called out his name, but he offered no response, keeping his eyes fixed to the ground. He hoisted himself back up, and all of us ambled through the passageway to the bay where our boat awaited us. Whether from the loss of blood or perhaps from the loss of morale, Eva was utterly broken, realizing that everything he could stand to lose, Takeda was willing to take. Please tell me we actually finally make it to Isa. July, 1868. A little over a month had passed since we made our narrow escape from Odawara. Morale was suffering as we were haunted by the memory of Takeda's wrath. Thankfully, Motoyama had located a reclusive space where we could regroup, and he contracted, contacted a friend of his who had worked as an interpreter in Yokohama. For whatever reason, Iba's injuries hadn't shown any sign of regeneration, which was heavily disconcerting. Until now, Iba was bedridden, and we were forced to monitor his recovery diligently. I begged Matsumoto Sensei to pay us an in-house visit, but even he was at his wit's ends upon inspection. Matsumoto Sensei, how's he doing? Kori kanna. Kizuguchi ga fusagaru kehai ga nai. Judan ga umaku kantsu shite kurete, karada no naka ni nokotte nai no wa fukou chuu no saiwai da ga. Do you have any idea why he isn't healing? It's odd, don't you think? His fury powers should have mitigated the blood loss, but it's been a month. Of course, if the bullets had torn through any of his if Iba's vital organs, then he would have been a goner. But this was a troubling sign, and I began to question if something had happened to affect his regeneration, or if Takara had stripped him of his powers altogether. この間、土方くんや三男くんと話す機会があったんだが、新政府軍の中に妙な武器を使う連中がいるらしい。A peculiar weapon? そいつらは銀でできた銃弾を撃つらしいんだ。その銃弾で撃たれた羅刹の傷は容易に癒すことができんらしい。つまり、羅刹の弱点というわけだ。Wait, so Takara and his men were using. おそらく、銀の銃弾を使ってたんだろう。コードさんなら、羅刹の弱点を知っているはずだからな。Well, fuck. I balled my hand into a tight fist, seething at the thought of father being responsible for Iba's pain. Matsumoto sensei, is there anything we can do for Iba at this time? ひとまず急所は外れてるから死んじまうってことはないだろうが、体力が戻るまでにはもうしばらく時間がかかるだろうな。I see. This is a precarious moment for us. The Ogeki unit had been slaughtered at the hands of the treacherous Oda Odawara domain. We were directionless. But at least Ibo's life was no longer at risk. So, I have a friend who has a Let me walk you out. 
thank you again, Matsumoto-sensei, for taking the time out of your busy schedule to check up on Iba. What do you mean by that? エドジョーが無血海上されてからというもの、市中には新政府軍の奴らが溢れてる。幕府軍の残党統合式奴らを片っ端から捕まえて取り調べてるって話だ。So even if Iba's wounds were to heal, there was no guarantee of safety in Edo. In fact, there was no guarantee of safety anywhere. We found ourselves spindled in the spider's web, and our escapers were slowly dwindling. Yukimura-kun, you are still here for now, right? I... I must bear the responsibility for Iba's condition. It's my fault that he's like this. What do you mean? なんでもない。独り言だ。それじゃ、私はもう行くよ。Ma! Why is everything everybody hitting me with a nandam and I? So da. Iba kun no kega no guai o mini kuru koto wa mou dekin daro. Why is that? Aizu ni iku koto ni shitan da. Ijutsu o hitsuyo to shite iru tokoro ni iku no ga isha no tsutome da kara na. Aizu. I could imagine what disasters in Aizu have befallen the Shogunate forces, enough to compel Matsumoto Sensei to stay there indefinitely. Please be careful out there. I will pray for your safe return, and shall hope that our reunion is sooner rather than later, Matsumoto Sensei. Matsumoto-sensei grinned warmly, and he stepped briskly towards the front door to make his exit. I watched the doctor's back shrink in the distance as the pines whispered outside, and as I re-entered... Was Ziba asleep this entire time? Oh, oh... I had Matsumoto-sensei pay us a visit to examine your injuries. But don't worry yourself. You seem to be doing a lot better. He's taking this so lightly, so he's a little bruised. You still have holes, mister! <laughs> that makes me so happy. I was growing quite concerned. His complexion was still somewhat homely, but... Seeing him regain his consciousness, and even stand on his own, was something to celebrate. Blech. Say, why don't I whip us something delicious, huh? Is there anything you're craving, Iba? What is it? Iwa's eyes dropped shimmily to the floor, and while I anticipated him to finish his thought, he remained silent, fiddling with his, his hands together. To get bit together. Bleh. Some fresh fish and steamed vegetables. All good things for your health. If you don't mind, I'll run to the market and purchase some ingredients. 
So, please excuse me. Iba smiled gratefully, and my chest felt warm seeing his spirits return. My bangs are getting in the way of my sight again. At last, I could rest easily. Our hopeful embers were catching flame once again. Over time, it was getting easier for Iba to move around the house, and a scar tissue was forming around his tender wounds after weeks of waiting. Why am I getting messages? Oh god. He's gonna start it again, isn't he? No, it's not like that. My cheeks felt hot as Motoyama poked me at poked fun at me, and I puckered my lips from embarrassment. Eva, on the other hand, was in no mood to joke. Motoyama. Oh, and do I have a map in this book? I'm blind or I can't see it, but I don't... S oh, there it is. North. Okay, so up north is Nico, Aizu, Sendai, and Hokodate. Also, Tsunomiya, and Mito. Also north is Edo, but we're not gonna go back to Edo. So, we're either going. To, so, really, we're either going to Niku, Tsunomiya, Aizu, Sendai, or Hokodate. Hakodate. I'm going to guess this might be Hakodate time? I'm not sure. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, it's Leppan Dome, it's the one that's 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 I had expected news of a growing resistance would have comforted Iba in his troubled state, but... He merely plopped into a chair and slumped over. With the fragments of the Ugeki unit sailing north to join a desperate resistance, he was once again made into something of a spectator. I glanced at Motoyama, who could only shrug back. Even if Iba were allowed to break his vow and enter the fray, his injuries left him unfit for combat. It was an unbelievable position. Oops. And I could see the frustration on his face as he gritted his teeth. Matsumoto-sensei said the exact same thing. According to him, anyone even remotely affiliated with the shogun is arrested and subjected to interrogation. It's a bleak situation. It's a bleak situation. Ah, just yesterday, Shinsengumi was doing the same thing. I'm feeling the same thing. I mean, you're not wrong, but um, that was different a little bit. Torishimaru mono to torishimararu mono no tachiba wa ano toki to gyaku da kedo sa. Wait, but what about you? Are you going to be safe? Ore ga yugeki tai ni sanka shita koto wa goku ichibu no ningen shika shiranai kara na. Ah, I see. That's good to hear. しかし、その状況では、江戸に戻ることは難しそうですね。
無茶なことは考えるなよ何でも近頃江戸の市中では辻斬り事件がよく起きてるって聞くし、oh. 辻斬りああしかも下手人は相当残酷なやつらしい何でも死体が肉片になっちまうぐらい細切れにするって聞くぞ<笑> Gruesome murderous bodies reduced to bloody viscera Viscera? It was a familiar tale, one that I thought had been left behind in Kyo several months ago. Back then, the murderers had been pinned on the Shinsengumi's infamous furry corpse, but they were nowhere in Edo. Not for several months now. My stomach sank as the realization set in. I felt suddenly lightheaded, and Eva continued on. So much can go. 新政府軍は何の手も打っていないんですかこれは憶測なんだな多分取り締まれない理由があるんじゃないか例えばそいつらは薩長の協力者とかさ Years ago I had heard that father had worked closely with members of the Imperial Nationalist Party in particular by experimenting on some sort of of its by some of its by experimenting on some of its ronin. I feared that if the offenders weren't the Shinsengumi's own fury corpse, perhaps it was Takeda our father's doing. Iba. Kregure mo mucha na koto wa kangaeru na yo. 今はとにかくその怪我を一日でも早く治してもらわないとそれは分かっています雪村さんも伊庭のことをちゃんと見張っておいてくれよこいつ目を離すとすぐに無茶をするから<笑> I'm quite familiar He's safe with me その返事を聞くとホッとするよ。今は雪村さんの言うことならちゃんと聞くからな。あ、そうだ。俺の家と今の家から金子を持ってきたんだ。これから何かと入りようになるだろうし、遠慮なく使ってくれ。Thank you so much. How generous of you. それじゃ。俺は江戸に戻るよ。何かあったらまた知らせに来るから。元山、ノー、ドンゴーはい。ありがとう。元山、バッポライトリーにエクシデットハウス。As I glance over at Iba, it seemed as though a dark cloud was floating above his hunched head. I search for something insightful to say, but offering to bring levity into this room might only make things worse, so I refrained from speaking. Just when I thought he was about to speak. <laughs> Is this round three? Have we reached round three? All of a sudden, Ebo fell out of his chair, wrapping his face in pain as he gasped for air. Eba! Color began slowly fading from his hair, and each strand turned white from the fall follicle up. There was no mistaking it. This was bloodlust. I decided to give him blood. Iba, please, drink my blood. If you drink my blood, your bloodlust will die down. Your gashes might heal sooner, too. Besides, I need you. If your mind deteriorates before we see Takeda again, there's no telling what it'll do to us. Trepidation plagued Iba, and he bit his lip as he hastily darted his eyes away from me. 
Arguing about this would only prolong his suffering, and we were running short on time. He left me with no other choice. I drew my kodachi from out of its sheath and cut a tiny sliver across the side of my neck. As the sharp edge of the blade broke through my skin, I winced, causing thick drops of blood to, to slide from the fresh cut. Iba, please. I felt my voice crack as I pleaded with Iba, and he finally stepped towards me, albeit hesitantly. My body shivered as Eva placed his icy hand upon my stomach, and after drawing me in closely, he wrapped his moist lips around the bloody incision. Eva's voice murmured soft words burdened by his regret. As he went on, his hand gripped mine tighter. His tongue flicked at the viscous droplets of blood as he vented irritably into my ear, and with each su successive gulp, his breath seemed to steady. Though his nagging sense of sorrow was a little tough to swallow as he pressed our bodies together. Would offering him my blood only drive him away? I chose not to answer just yet, in fear of the truth. 